projects we see as real world projects. Uh, the students actually interface with designers in addressing real world situations. So definitely a great value to the students in terms of what they're learning um, here at the school and how they're going to uh, adapt that to a real world situation. Model P is a very great product, but the Mr. Handy Ford didn't style that Model T. So I'm trying to encourage students. This is a great opportunity for the students to put the style on, on the Model T. That's a great stuff for them. Ford design team is there the entire time with us uh, step by step. Uh, they start, um, they come in every week and we review what we did uh, and they give us um, design critique on how we can improve the sketches and the designs as well as our story in general. The future of the automobile lies in autonomous capabilities and mobile technology. So I utilize every space in the vehicle to, uh, to be storage space, even the seating arrangement. It's got that sci-fi futuristic kind of feel to it. So, you know, I love the whole idea of it being uh, uh, all terrain. As you see the platform, it has lithium ion battery in the front, two electric motors in the front of that and one in the rear and you would also have storage in the front, as you see with this sketch here uh, in this front portion um, right here. Some of these sketches um, really have improved and you're starting to get a sensitivity. <laughs> the idea was to um, find somewhere we could go and have the Model T redesigned and wear better than our friends here at CCS. Letting them come up with the ideas and uh, you know, from there it's you know, it's just basically fostering and, and encouraging them. I think the job that the students have done is phenomenal. I think there's a broad array of solutions. Uh, the notion of modular that was touched on, the notion of the retro to the Model T. The one that will be going to uh, the world headquarters will be Dong Train.